Welcome back to KSL Outdoors. I'm Jared Hargrave back in the Uinta Mountains. You know there's a ton of ways to enjoy the outdoors up here in the winter, but if you're feeling really adventurous, try staying at one of these Mongolian style backcountry yurts. Our big yurt trip started at the Bear River Lodge, where they kindly loaned us snowmobiles to haul ourselves and all our gear. We went up the yurt trail about three miles up to the yurt. Very easy snowmobile ride, it takes 15 minutes to get up here. The Ridge Yurt is located on the north slope of the Uinta Mountains and is one of five yurts operated by Evanston, Wyoming and the Bear River Outdoor Recreation Alliance. All five of our yurts on the north slope are booked through the winter months. Very popular and very affordable. Yeah. And it's uh, just a great adventure for, for everybody. <laughs> After the sled ride in, we settled into our rustic accommodations. This yurt is probably one of the best yurts that I've been to. Everything's stocked here for us, they got all the wood. We just walked in, made a fire, and had a cozy place to come back to when we got through with our tour. We're up here at the yurt, you got nothing else to do but go skiing. Just outside the ridge yurt, we skied through an eerie, burnt out forest. Yeah, it was pretty wild. Yeah, it's like skiing giant toothpicks. A lot of space in between everything. It felt strange not having anything alive back there. It's been a few years since the fire and nothing has really grown back in. So it's just, everything was dead for, when you're in the middle of it, as far as you could see, it was just dead trees. It was cool. Hanging out of the yard is nice. We uh, all kind of help out and do dinner. Just hanging out with your friends, talking around the dinner table, it was fun. Fresh snow welcomed us in the morning as we packed up and skied even further into the mountains to the Boundary Creek Yurt. Yurt number two, yeah, sight. Access wise, uh, it's not too hard to get back here. We put in a skin track, we got our own little slope to ski right outside the yurt. The skiing was phenomenal. Uh, nice pitch through some burnt out glades and pine trees, um, really surfy snow. And kind of play around with it, skid around, ski fast. Yeah, it was really fun. While Mike and I skied, Adam and John took to the skies in their speed wings. Once I got airborne, we went over the trees. It was a really beautiful flight. We kind of had a nice headwind. It's like being on a roller coaster and the wind will take you where it wants to take you. I did a few steep banks and then uh, made a pretty fast landing into the open blade. A year life is uh, a lot more fun than real life. All you have to worry about is cooking, getting the fire going, melting water, and skiing. <laughs> That's pretty much all there is. We'll have more from the Boundary Creek Yurt coming up, but first, here's tonight's Utah Field Guide. Here in the middle of nowhere, it's kind of a nice, cozy little outpost. Of all the yurts on the Uinta's North Slope, the Boundary Creek Yurt accesses the best terrain for backcountry skiers. This yurt is really nice. It's kind of tucked away up in this little valley. You got a, what, six mile approach or something like that. So you really feel like you're out there. We're not going to see anyone the whole time we're up here. For the first day we got here and there was literally no tracks anywhere around us. We had this whole place to ourselves. So we had a break trail to get up to our ski run. I, it was actually the best, best skiing I've ever experienced as far as the, the depth of the snow made it so I could turn a lot easier and the tree runs were incredible. I'd say this year it has a lot better skiing. I mean, you can ski right down to the front deck. It's awesome. Ski in, ski out. This is the true definition of that. You know, backcountry skiing in the Uinta Mountains can be phenomenal, but the snowpack is a bit trickier than other Utah ranges. So always check the avalanche report first and bring the proper safety gear. And now let's head back to Adam for the snapshot of the week.